Uh, welcome to the vegetable trial site. My name is uh, Sydney Shachele. I'm the vegetable trials officer. So I'll walk you through uh, the production cycle for the, uh, the bell papers. These bell papers that we have here, they are both uh, open field and uh, greenhouse uh, production. So now uh, we have three varieties of papers here. We have got uh, Solano F1, which is uh, a yellow paper which usually turns to its defective color, which is yellow, at 90 days from the day of transplanting. Then on my, light, on my left, I've got uh, uh, two varieties. Uh, uh, just next to me, it's uh, a variety called Hercules F1. It's a red paper. And uh, the other one's uh, Prime Red, which is a red paper as well. So these two varieties, uh, they usually turn to their respective color, which is red, at 90 days from the day of transplanting. So I will just walk you through the production cycle for these uh, uh, papers that we have here. So these are seed uh, uh, varieties of papers that we are offering to our clients out there. So uh, the way we grow papers, normally uh, I will start with uh, run preparation. Normally uh, you should ensure that your, 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 your soils are, are tested and they are not acidic. Because probably if you grow these papers in acidic soils, you won't have uh, the respected uh, yield and uh, you won't attain your, your potential yield in terms of money that you need to, to gain from these uh, papers. So what what we usually do is that uh, we encourage farmers to, to follow a spacing of 50 centimeters apart between the laws when you grow these papers outside you know, not under the greenhouse. Then between plants we follow the spacing of 40. So there is that spacing of uh, 50 centimeters uh, between uh, laws and uh, 40 centimeters between plants. So normally uh, after that a farmer should pre-apply the base of fertilizer which is a uh, uh, compound D or WVC two weeks before transplanting. Then he keeps on watering the field. Or probably maybe he or she can apply the fertilizer at the time of planting, which is the base of fertilizer, which is uh, which one, the ones that just mentioned WVC and uh, compound D. So normally the purpose of the compound D and WVC it is to enhance uh, the, the, the root formation for, uh, for, for a young seedling so that you prepare it in order to stand firm and uh, be able to absorb the nutrients that you, you will be applying to it as it grows. So uh, two weeks from the day you transplant, you come in with your first top dressing of ammonium nitrate. So ammonium nitrate is applied at two weeks from there you did your transplanting. So it's important to take note of the planting date because it will guide you on the, uh, the, the fertilizer application schedule. Then what you do is uh, after you have applied your potassium nitrate, your ammonium nitrate, after two weeks from the day of transplanting, you also take note of another two weeks. You also apply another application of uh, ammonium nitrate. So ammonium nitrate is split into up two applications in two weeks interval. So the purpose of the ammonium nitrate is to uh, make the plant grow vigorous or vegetatively. Because uh, ammonium nitrate is uh, a, a nitrogenous fertilizer which will supply uh, in, uh, in sufficient ni nitrogen to the plant as it grows. Then uh, after the application of uh, the, the second application of, of, of ammonium nitrate, we now do uh, what we call the first application of uh, a potassium nitrate. So by that time you see that uh, your papers would have already started flowering. So now that flowering, it is a signal to you as a farmer to say the, 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 the crop now needs uh, sufficient uh, potassium in order to enhance flower formation and fruit formation as well. So that application of uh, potassium nitrate, you follow it in two weeks interval. You continue until you are done with your the, 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 the production sake of your papers. Then the other thing that we usually recommend farmers to do is that at the time the papers start flowering, you need to, uh, to do some foliar uh, 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 application of fertilizers like vegetative uh, before flowering and also uh, fruit and flower as the, the crop flowers. Fruit and flower also enhances flower formation and the fruiting. So if you don't apply a uh, fruit and flower, you see that uh, the flowers will be dropping off from the plants. So that you, 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 make, you, you make loss on, on the part of the farmers because you won't gain or attain the expected yield that you need. Probably we also uh, encourage farmers to apply what we call the foliar applied calcium. So foliar applied calcium uh, normally is also uh, does what helps 
in uh, preventing the falling off of flowers from the, the plant and also prevents the uh, diseases like uh, a, a blossom end rot which is a disease which is uh, a brought in with the, uh, as a result of uh, a calcium deficient to the what to the papers so uh, normally there are some certain uh, uh, management practices that we usually uh, encourage farmers to do like probably when the, the plants start flowering you need to do what we call the staking the staking is the support you support your plants with uh, some strings attached to some poles in order to prevent the 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 the, 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 the plants from falling off because you know uh, these varieties that i'm uh, talking about they have got a uh, uh, they can hold big fruits which can even go up to 360 grams one fruit so now imagine if a plant have got uh, such fruits maybe 10 of them on a plant so normally we usually encourage farmers to stake or support the, the, the plants in order to prevent them from falling or from being uh, damaged by the weight of the fruits then the other thing is that uh, we usually uh, encourage farmers as well to do what we call uh, the scouting scouting is a uh, uh, important in the agriculture because it's it's signal or it gives us an indication to say there are some uh, insects or some diseases in the what in the field so normally uh, a farmer has to do the scouting on his papers in order to identify if there's any disease that is there in the field or maybe there are certain insects that are there in the field so normally we encourage farmers to do that uh, maybe possibly on a weekly basis in order to, to, to just to be uh, updated on what is actually happening in the field so I think uh, that's a brief uh, a production cycle of how we go about the uh, paper production in the open field.